good morning good afternoon good evening students it depends on the time you're watching this video class i hope you all have completed writing the previous chapter now we will be doing chapter 5 that is plant reproduction All living organisms, including plants and animals, grow and produce young ones. The process by which living organisms produce young ones is called reproduction. Fertilization In plants, reproduction takes place through the process of fertilization. Fertilization is the process by which male and female gametes fuse together to form a single fertilized cell called zygote. This takes place inside the flower as we have learned in chapter 4. The zygote further develops into an embryo, the fertilized ovule develops into seeds and the ovary begins to ripen and changes into a fruit. Structure of a seed. Seeds of different plants differ in size, shape and color. The seeds have a hard covering called the seed coat that protects the seed. Inside the seed, there are seed leaves called cotyledons. These cotyledons contain all the food supply for the baby plant to grow. Different types of seeds. There are two types of seeds. Number one, monocotyledon or monocot seed. A seed that have one cotyledon is called monocot seed. The example of monocotyledon or monocot seeds are cone and cereals. Number two, dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. Seeds that have two cotyledons are called dicotyledonous or dicot seeds. Kidney beans and all pulses like dill have dicot seeds. My dear students, turn your book to page 54 then you will see the diagram for your better understanding now comes germination germination is the process by which a seed produces a baby plant or seedling in the presence of water air and womb the sheet will not germinate or the seed will not grow into a plant if there is no water air and womb germination does not take place in all seeds only seeds that are ripe and healthy grow into new plants my dear students please turn your book to page 54 at the bottom of the page you will see the diagram of seed germination i have shown you in the diagram for your better understanding Thank you for watching. See you in the next class.